By observing how the systems interact with each other, we are learning how to design flight-worthy equipment for the next phase. This is actually a key step on our roadmap towards a flying demonstrator. We needed to develop a test environment which reflects the Airbus stringent safety requirements. This unique facility enables our experts to test new propulsion technologies. This actually fits perfectly inside the timeline of Zero E towards delivering a hydrogen powered aircraft in 2035. This iron pot is an important building block in our overall Zero E strategy. During a test, we want to check different things. First, that the fuel cell perform well all together and they can provide the correct power output. Second, that uh, each fuel cell can behave correctly when connected to the other equipment, like motors, cooling, like uh, uh, power converters, gearbox, cooling system. The fuel cell is now ready to produce electrical power. So this electrical power needs to be converted into mechanical power to drive the aircraft. To do so, we will have to add converters, electrical systems, protection devices, cooling systems, and this will form the complete power channel. And this power channel will be upgraded progressively in order to form the flight standard. So when our tests are over, uh, the systems will be ready to fly on the S380 demonstrator.